I definitely don't claim to be a professional, but if you don't know what you're doing, don't try this at home. What's up everybody? On today's episode of Random Projects with Danger, we're going to be working on my 1980 Corvette, the Rockstar Mobile. Where the fin comes up in the back, the little rear spoiler, the clear coat's peeling off. It looks pretty nasty. I'm going to do a little wet sanding, then I'm going to lay down some clear coat on top of that just to keep it from getting worse. Full disclaimer, I'm not a body guy. I'm not a paint guy. I do paint projects, but I, n I do not claim to be a professional body man. Let's get going. As you can see, right here in the sun, where the clear coat's peeling up. The first step, get out the wax and grease remover and take anything off, just as it is. If there's any wax, if there's any grease, it's going to take it off. Once I have this wet with the wax and grease remover, I can actually see the trouble spots that I'm going to need to make sure the clear coat's picked off. The rest of it doesn't look really that bad. So this next part is going to be a combination part. I got my little scalpel here. I'm going to carefully cut around where the clear coat's peeling. Uh, and I'm also going to wet sand the whole area with 2000 grit. Got my 3M 2000 grit and a little piece of Scotch Brite. Going to soak that in water and wet sand the whole area. I'm just scuffing this up, little teeny scratches. I'm trying not to take any material off uh, that I don't have to, just to scuff it up so the new clear coat will stick. Again, I'm not trying to take much material off at all. I'm just trying to scuff this up so the new clear coat will stick. Alright, we got some wet sanding done. I'll try to keep my shadow out of the picture here. You can see there's a couple of spots. I don't know how well you can see that. I think it's, yeah, right about there. Where you can see some black showing through. That's where the red paint kind of got rubbed off. And I wasn't sanding that aggressively and that was 2000 grit. So you know that paint was thin. I'm going to load up the airbrush and try and feather it back in once I get done wet sanding and peeling off the clear. Almost went through my foot. See all those little bits of clear that are coming up? I kind of want those out of the way so the new clear can at least seal the edge and keep it from getting worse. Got a little bit of work to do.
the real fix would be to strip this down, repaint it, and then clear the whole thing. As you can see, these plastic bumpers, they get waves to them from being out in the sun. She's not perfect, but I do like driving her. be very careful when you're on the sharp edges you end up taking off way more paint than you think you do you really just want one or two quick swipes on the sharp edges if any I'm really liking that there's a little bit more to go but I think it's going to look pretty decent when we're done. All right, hopefully I have enough paint to put in my airbrush. All I have is one of those little things, a touch-up paint, so Hopefully there's enough. I'm gonna take you in, maybe you can see this. Where are we at? Right there, let me get out of the sunlight. Right there. See how the paint's rubbed through? It's showing the black underneath. So all I have is this little teeny touch-up paint and let me tell you there's probably three drops in there so I put some reducer in it and hopefully I have enough to load up the airbrush I think I got this old airbrush on Amazon but I like it because again not a body guy I'm not even an artist but if I can get this out of the case here I'm gonna show you something there we go this little guy acts just like a normal spray gun it's trigger feed which is what I'm used to so let's see if we can get this loaded up I was able to get a cup full I have it thinned out pretty good so uh, let's go give it a shot games to you drip paint directly on the car I guess When you're doing any kind of masking, take your time. The end result is only going to be as good as the prep. 
lot of people think painting cars is just get it in the booth and spray it. It's like 95% prep. That's no joke. Another thing about masking. If you don't think overspray is going to get on something, and you don't mask that spot, that's exactly where the overspray is going to land. Trust me. thin this paint out way too much because it's taken many many layers to cover but I'm all right with that one of my friends who owns his own body shop taught me this trick I don't know how effective it's gonna be but we're gonna try it when you want to re-clear something but you don't want a hard edge to show up that you have to sand and buff you find the body line where you want to tape off And then you fold the tape down. You fold the tape down about halfway or so. And then you tape it back. I'm pretty sure this is called back taping. What this is supposed to do when you're spraying and the clear dries instead of a hard tape edge it kind of makes a little bit of a ramp so it kind of feathers itself in it means less work on the flip side of things I'm gonna get to taping now I was able to get some more out of the touch-up jar. Covering nice. I know that this is a good way to touch up this bumper. Only because in projects past, if I put it in the normal gun, I, I made it run, I put way too much on. This may take a lot longer, but at least I'm not going to have to sand off mistakes, hopefully. not to get my hands on the paint directly to keep the oil off it. That's 
to say, I really like that. It covered well. Let's just hope the paint color blends and it doesn't stick out too bad. It's pretty close. Okay, that's one spot right there. It's all covered up. The other spot was right about there. And then finally, the spot way up there. It all has pretty decent coverage on there. I think it's time to mix up some clear. Here's the clear coat that I'm using. Pretty sure I got this at tcpglobal.com. That's where I think I got this stuff. There's not much left. As you can see, I marked on there. Four to one. So that means four part paint, aka clear. One part hardener. Mix it up, strain it, put it in my little gun here, which I got many, many moons ago for like, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. Uh, I think there was a, not Harbor Freight, but someplace similar, but it works good. So we need to mix four to one with this clear versus hardener. I have this little metal cup, whatever you call it. This is how I'm going to mix it. I don't have any fancy measuring devices. Matter of fact, I just have this paint cup from Lowe's, which doesn't have any measuring, pre-mix, nothing. So, we're just going to put one hardener in and four parts of clear. Man, that hardener's a little crusty. There's one. Man, I love the smell of clear coat. Probably because it's what makes the paint look the best. One. Two. Three. Four. Four to one. When I go to stir my clear coat, I try not to make any bubbles if not necessary, but you do want a thorough mix. So there's no need to go crazy, but you do need to make sure she's mixed thoroughly. Also when it comes to clear coat, this is an obvious statement, but you don't want any flex or any dirt or anything in the clear. So take your time. Take all the prep necessary to make sure you don't get any flex in it. I can see right now that I have one little piece of dirt in there and it's going to drive me nuts. So I'm going to try and fish that out, but I am going to run it through a, through a strainer so hopefully I won't need to. We've got a nice thorough mix. By the way, this little stand, it's a TIG torch stand that I got from Harbor Freight. I think it was like eight bucks. It works for my airbrush, it works for this little gun, my TIG torch, and my MIG gun. Perfect. No little specks in the clear. I like it. Okay. Fair enough.
always always wear a respirator when you're spraying clear or any other solvent I'm gonna blow this off with some air hit it with the tack rag and then lay some clear first coat I like to just dust it on there and then we'll lay it in a little heavier on the second coat. Well, if you can see that, that's an eyelash, and of course it was in the clear. I tend to get a little overzealous and I like to rush. So right now I'm going to let that sit for five minutes because I know myself. I'm going to put the clear right to it and I'm going to make a run. So I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to take a minute. I'm trying to avoid hitting the edges with the rolled tape. I just want to kind of come up to it and not really lay it in thick around those edges. That way less sanding to do after. I think we're going to call that good enough. Just finished spraying. I want to unwrap this so badly. But I'm going to wait 10 minutes just in case. Bugs are already starting to crawl towards it, so let's give it a minute. No matter how hard you prep. So as I started taking the plastic off, for some reason, little flies started landing in the clear. I already love it. As I was peeling the tape off, I pulled another piece of clear off, so I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to see if I can do that, I don't know, I don't know if I want to use the airbrush or not, but as you can see, there's one little fly in the ointment, there's two, and there's two friends. You can see the tape line and you can see how I didn't lay it on real thick at the edge there. I am going to smooth that out 
with a little wet sanding after, but all in all, I'm very happy. It looks way better. It looks way better than it did before. I like it. I use the airbrush to hit the tape lines where it was taped off. And it already smoothed them out a little bit. There's not going to be much buffing and cutting. I'll bring you in a little closer and show you. So you can kind of see where the tape line was. But I just hit it with the airbrush. Obviously there's some orange peel that needs to be sanded out. I understand that. But you can't really see the tape line. So much better than before. So a while back I made this air cleaner for Old Blue. I never got around to putting a coat of clear on it. It just so happens there's some left over in the gun, so we're going to shoot it with some clear. That's it! The second that I got done spraying. Well, that's it for today's episode. What did I learn? I learned that back taping works. The line for the tape line where the, where the clear met the paint, you could barely notice it. And once I hit it with the airbrush, it almost disappeared. So, thank you for that trick. That was taught to me by my friend Jason, who owns his own auto body shop. So, thank you, Jason, for teaching me that trick. All in all, do I suggest doing any kind of painting or bodywork outside? No, don't do it. Uh, if you look um, really, really close, you can see dust in the clear on the car, but that's all right. The car is not perfect. The car is a driver, uh, but it looks way better than it did, and I'm happy. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.